everyone. It's Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com. I am here to show you guys the new ebosser from Craftwell. I did a little video about it a little bit a little while ago when I was sick, and now I want to show you guys even more uh, some really fun things and unique things that you can do with this machine. I absolutely love it. Craftwell has made this so super easy and simple. Um, I do apologize. This is actually a voiceover. This is not the original audio that went with the video. I didn't realized that I didn't have my microphone uh, plugged in correctly and so I have no audio so we're doing this as a voiceover and we're just going to talk through this but anyway this is the ebosser it is a wonderful lightweight machine it has a very sleek design um, it's just a really really awesome machine that I think you're really going to enjoy playing with it's a very simple machine um, for what it is you just plug it in turn it on um, and the eight and a half by eleven embossing well it really is just incredible and the different types of embossing plates that Craftwell has made available such as um, the one that I was just holding holding up and showing you guys there is really a lot of fun to do different cards with and we're going to make one with that. Um, the user manual that it comes with really makes it super easy so you know exactly which sandwiching to do. It doesn't matter what brand of embossing plate or um, thin metal dies or cuddle bug dies or whatever you're working with. Everything is there so they make it really 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 super easy for you what you need to do with the care and maintenance um, what you need to do for cutting fabric acu acu quilt dies the whole nine yards it's all right there and um, this is just a really really awesome machine Craftwell really has just done an amazing job with this I really truly would get rid of any other embossing machine you can just see how deep this uh, eight and a half by eleven emboss is just how beautiful that is on a whole sheet of paper and it's just such a great way to do a simple simple card a full size card um, any size you know really with this eight and a half by eleven it really takes your creativity to a whole different level and that's what I really love about this um, this particular plate this is really cool it's a it's a thanks um, card and it's actually a trifold card and it all works together and like I said we're gonna get to showing you how to use that this is another one of the plates and I really love the design on this one as well um, the one thing that we're going to do. Oh, and this is also showing you. I used the uh, Megan Elizabeth nesting dies, and I just laid them all out on there, and they just cut out so super quick and super easy. And if you watched my video the other week, um, you saw me. You actually saw me doing that, um, even though I was sick. And I'm actually still sick when I recorded this video, but since we're doing the voiceover, anyway, we're just going to show you how quick it is to line up. This is actually not a true eight and a half by eleven sheet. I actually cut that down from a twelve by twelve, and so it doesn't quite fit in there. But it is an eight and a half by eleven. And you just place your sheet right in there, and then we're going to do um, the layering. And it's really, really simple. Like I said, all the instructions are right there, but we're going to show you again walking through this with your A plate, your um, embossing folder, and your material all sandwiched together. And then you're going to grab your, I believe it's your C plate and your D plate, which I'm going to show you in just a second right there, C and D. So you're going to leave B out, and you're going to leave the other... Um, shims and the little magnetic plates out but hands-free it's just feeding right on through it is so awesome I truly cannot express to you guys how much I really love this ebosser um, and how serious I am about getting rid of my other machines I, the turn cranks and everything else this just sits so uh, easy on my desk yeah it's plugged in but it, it's just too easy for me to uh, to uh, not use for everything so um, here you go. You can see the final emboss, how deep it is. It actually scores the card right where it would go. So this completes a card for you. And you can see there's a little place that you can put in your stamp sentiment or whatever the case may be that you would want to put in. I'm going to trim off that edge um, is what I'm talking about there. And um, just fold it over. And you can see like just how complete this looks to be able to put something right inside there, put a different color in, the design on the back. You open it up and the design is still on the inside and it's perfectly, perfectly scored. Um, and you could just put your little message in there and whatever the case may be. And on the back, you can even put a little like handmade by kind of thing. And what a just quick, easy way to do an eight and a half by 11 card. It's just awesome. Um, there are several other, I'm going to show you here, some of the other embossing folders that there are that um, Craftwell has made. And you can see the different folds of the cards and what you can do. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming out. And of course, you can still use your standard A2 size. You don't have to use these 8.5 by 11. You can use any size embossing folder um, with this, which really is great. So now I'm going to show you. Here's that thanks card. And this is that trifold card that I was telling you about. And this is actually a more true 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Um, so we're going to just feed this right on through. Really simple. 
And then this is something really cool, like if you use a coordinations paper for um, something that has a different color core, you can uh, sand over the embossed image and it gives you that um, multicolor, multidimensional uh, look. Really, really simple. And it's just a lot of fun. I really do love this machine. I'm, I'm so disappointed that the audio um, didn't work because I was honestly like jumping up and down as I was doing this, getting excited and um, trying to line this up now isn't as easy. But anyway, you can just see it folds over three times and you can just see the different ways that it says thank you on each and every panel of your fold. And it's just a really great thank you card. There's even a space to write in. So here's your front of your card. Like I said, sand over it, ink over it, give it that fun look, all the ways that it says thank you in many different languages. Open it up and there's just your little note you can write in there. There's plenty of space to write and then even further on that inside panel right there and it just says a little thanks at the bottom, which is just so cute. So that quick and simple, you made a card that um, can fit in business size envelopes. So anyway, um, I did want to show you guys a few other things with this. I am going to show you uh, real quick again how to cut. I'm going to use the Megan Elizabeth nesting dies for this uh, next portion. So I'm going to grab a sheet of paper. And um, yeah, just really do love this machine so, so, so very much. Um, it's really cool. There's a, They have made some improvements on this machine. This is one that I was really excited about. First uh, CHA that they premiered it. But I'm going to show you guys. This is the square one fabric, adhesive backed fabric. It has a great little uh, thickness to it and it's an alternative to vinyl. It's actually a fabric but you use it just like you would use vinyl and it embosses so well. I have embossed this with my um, cuddle bug before but using the embosser you can get such a larger pattern and a larger space that for sticking it on the wall it almost looks like a pattern well, like an embossed wallpaper and you can layer things on top of it and really just make a beautiful thing for your home and I just think that it's really cool. So um, because you can do such a bigger, you know, a bigger landscape or a bigger area with the square one, and the square one is thicker than a vinyl, it really holds the embossed even better than, say, a vinyl would. And this is totally removable and repositionable. So we're going to use this um, pattern, the one that I used on that other sheet of paper that I showed you the other day. And I'm just going to stick it in. Now, this is just a, this is a smaller piece. It's not a true 8.5 by 11. But with the 8.5 by 11 printables, you can print out photos and add a texture to your 8.5 by 11 photos. With square one, there's just a ton of options and a ton of um, different, you know, things that you can do here. So anyway, we're just going to feed this right on through. And you're going to see this on my wall at the end of the video. Um, just how simple it is and know the embossing pattern when you stick it on as long as you don't like burnish it onto your wall especially with this over a vinyl it really does just hold that embossing pattern so well and it just looks so beautiful now one thing I will say with the uh, square one if you're using a darker color um, print instead of like your own principal or using this lighter color print sometimes you'll see some of the white core through but look how beautiful it is it's so deep and it just Oh, I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks on the wall. And like I said, you can then put, um, cut out other words, cut out like home sweet home or whatever you'd want it to say for on your wall, but have this as a background to it. And then you could frame around it. You can just do so many different awesome, awesome things. So I'm peeling off the backing. I actually ripped the backing sheet. So that's why it's not right there on the camera. I had to get something to peel it back, but you can just see peels off. You can then use the backing sheet because that has a nice emboss to it. You want to peel it slowly, but you can see, like I said, that emboss stays right in there, um, even on the larger areas and something so intricate. And so it really is just so beautiful. So I'm just going to stick it on here because this is removable and repositionable. You can just see that I stuck it right down and uh, smooth it out a little bit and you can get the bubbles out and do things. But I really want to go stick it on my wall. So that's what we're going to do with that. And um, I really want to show you guys, once again, just real quick, how easy it is to um, cut with this. These are the different embossing and die cutting shims. And they're, the one sheet is magnetic, which is really cool. It keeps the metal, the thin metal dies from slipping. This is the magnetic sheet. And you can just see it's really, you know, flexible, movable, but you stick the dies on there and they're not sliding and slipping, which is really just awesome. You stick the die down and then you stick your... Um, the paper that you're cutting right on top of it. So I'm just going to show you that real quick, how we sandwich that together. You're going to use the extra plates. Um, I just place a couple things down here really quick so you can really get a good look and see um, what we're going to do. So we're going to use the D plate and the C plate. Then we're going to take our B plate. I do believe we take our B plate. Yep. So we're going to ABCD it right on up. 
We are going to take our magnetic sheet and the die that we're going to use. You can take as many dies as you want with that eight and a half by 11 landscape. You can really, um, you know, get a whole bunch done at one time. And this is for the thin metal dies. There's different settings and different sandwiching techniques for the different size dies that you may be using. So I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper. There's our two uh, little sheets. And this is actually another piece of the square one. So you can see how square one actually cuts out so smooth, so clean, so easy. Um, using the ebosser and you can cut out your different shapes of the square one uh, printable adhesive back fabric this is the uh, Christmas color pack I think is what this red is from I don't think this is from one of the older ones I think this is from Christmas time um, but it feeds right on through and then they pop out just awesomely and um, it's it's just really an incredible machine so I love it I know you're gonna love it too um, you know like I said it just sits on your desk you really, you just can't beat what this is. And, you know, I don't know. I, I really, I can't say enough good things about it. So I am in love. And I'm sure I'm saying back when I was actually recording this, something very informative and wonderful to you guys. I'm so disappointed that my audio did not work. Um, very disappointed in that. But this is what it is. All right. So let's go get down to uh, peeling up this backing sheet. I got to peel off the backing sheet and just pop this right on out. And I'm just pulling it off its backing sheet. I was having problems with the backing sheets, but you can just see it just cuts right out. And you can then stick it on your wall. You can stick it on scrapbook layouts. There's a lot of different things that you can do with square one that you would never be able to do with a regular vinyl. Like I said, this is a adhesive backed fabric. It's PVC free. It's really, really awesome stuff. Um, so yeah, all in all, that's what you can do. You can really do great things. Like I said, embossing and cutting with this. Now we're gonna go look at my wall. Uh -huh. And now you can really just see like that great pattern in there. Now I know it's kind of hard to take a look at. I didn't actually get all those bubbles out like I probably should have. Um, but you can just press that right on down. And like I said, you can frame around that outer edge, um, make it like an eight and a half by, or, you know, an eight by eight, like shadow box frame can just go right over. You don't need glass or anything. You can change it out completely removable. And that pattern really does hold. And I really just love the way it looks. And I hope that you do too. And I hope that you have fun experimenting with it sometime. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope that you enjoy the moments, and I'll see you again soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Bye-bye.